tell me we got to change this music. They said it sounds like the Illuminati. I don't even know what that means. I have no clue. The Illuminati. No. This music sounds like the Illuminati. I don't uh, know what that is. We'll have to find out. Lauren Debig is in the studio. Lauren always brings us great guests in the health field here in Ocala. Lauren is the manager of marketing communications at Ocala Health, and she's brought with her Allison Metcalf. We've had Allison on the show before. Last time we saw Allison, she was dressed like a career and Ives card. She was beautiful. S- singing. Yeah, you all look so good, and you both look really great. Good morning, Lauren. Great. Good morning, Allison. Good morning. Good morning. How are good morning. you? Good. How are you doing? <laughs> good. Good. Have you have you have you heard um, have you heard Allison singing? I've heard her singing you not have. in um, an organized event though, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> it does. I don't very know much what that so. Means. An organized event. I, I haven't seen her at the Christmas party at an or an unorganized play event. Yet. Yeah, I've seen her sing. Oh, on impromptu. stage. Mm-hmm. On stage. No, not no. impromptu. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, like the, right now she office. starts singing right now. Just in the office yes. kind of thing. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Do you sing, Lauren? I do. You do. Yes. She does. Nice. You I'm, can do a duet. I'm trying to get her involved in theater too. Oh, so. good for you. We'll come see you. We've Thank got you. season tickets, so Excellent. my mom and I. So we always talk about the people. We yeah, like. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to go to one with Robin. I'm going to go to see Menopause. Right? Yes, you are. Yeah. Menopause the musical. Yeah, yeah. I haven't show. seen it. Have you seen it? I've seen it before. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Am I going to be one of the few men there? Uh, I don't know. I've never oh, been there. I bet there's going to be plenty of women that drag their men along. <laughs> well, she's not dragging me. I want to go. I want to see it. My father saw it. My father said he was it was funny. I think I think there's enough humor for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for coming in, Allison. And uh, you are with the Ocala Health to You program. And is that what we're talking about? We are. We're going to talk about the Senior Wellness Community Center, which is actually the physical space that we occupy. That's um, part of Ocala Health and our H two U membership program, which is Health to You. Okay. And and is this a program f- like an activities program? Um, not, not really. really. Um, there's really kind of three things we do there. We ha- offer free seminars to the community. A lot of people have seen our calendar that's out in the community. Get, they get it in the Citizen or the Messenger. Um, and those are usually doctors, practitioners, um, other people in the area who um, come in and do free talks for the, the community geared towards our kind of our 50 plus okay. age group because our center is located out on State Road 200. So these would be health related topics? Health related primarily, although we do some other things like um, we do have Devity Bloom, who's the crime prevention specialist with Marion County Sheriff's Office, comes and does a talk every quarter on safety being safe in the community, okay, even okay. avoiding scams, how not to be robbed when you're in the parking lot at Walmart, things like that. So Really? Yeah. Do you yeah. need a guy to play like the bad guy? No, he doesn't do that. He just gives oh, examples. Oh, gosh, I would love to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Although he is coming to do personal defense, basic self-defense for seniors Wait, wouldn't it in be January. Funny? Oh. Wouldn't it be fun, though, if I was, like, hiding? <laughs> the old people would be surprised because I'm kind of big. You, so, might, you might give them a heart attack, though. No, but, but, but if I come out and say, okay, I've got a bad guy. Come on out, bad guy. And then I come out and I really look horrible. You know? That'd be fun. It definitely <laughs> would be fun and different. Then he's got to knock me down, and <laughs> this is how you take down a big guy. Boom! And then I fall down. <laughs> so the Senior Center, that's the, the one of the primary <laughs> things we do are the seminars. We also do the H2U program, which is a membership program, and we offer things like uh, Tai Chi, yoga, that's line dance, I mean. ballroom dance. Yeah. Yes. But it's not just Did you a say foreign dance? Ballroom. A oh, ballroom dance. Ballroom dance. dance. Um, we even have a core strength class called Find Your Balance. So we do lots of different things um, to focus on health, wellness, and prevention. So we're not only just giving information and in seminars. We offer a way to have a, a greatly discounted opportunity to do physical activity and maybe learn some oh, other things through I our see. healthy living. So something fun like ballroom dancing right. is exactly. actually therapy. Correct. can be. It's therapeutic. It can be very therapeutic. It's very active. In fact, they've done studies that show um, one of the best things you can do to to slow the progression of Alzheimer's or other dementias is ballroom dance because it's not only phys- know that. it's not only physical, so it right. keeps things moving, but it also requires you to think, it requires your brain to work mm-hmm. um, in ways that it doesn't normally work to string together the steps. That would and be remember really that, so. true for me. My my brain <laughs> never thinks about ballroom dancing. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd really have to think. So it would, it would slow would. the progression of your disease yeah. process, Larry. My disease process. <laughs> <laughs> I have a disease process. Do you, do you know, I, I went to the ballroom at the Waldorf Astoria in New York mm-hmm. only because I wanted to see it because my mom used to dance there when she was like 17 or whatever. Right, right. And it was so cool. It was empty. There was nothing in there at all. It was just so cool to think, oh, wow, 1941 or whatever. 
she would have been in here. Just mm -hmm. kind of fun. <laughs> well, you help on the uh, physical side, but you also help on the nutritional side as well. That's important. We do. That's our third thing that we do at the Senior Center is our Diabetes Education Outpatient Program. And we actually have a dietitian there who manages that program, a registered dietitian who's also a certified diabetes educator. Her name is Amy Freeman. I think she's been on oh, the yes. show. Oh, yes. Amy's you guys. been here, yeah. So she's with us. She's housed in our program. And what's great about that is not only does she do her classes and her one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions with diabetics and other people who may have things like chronic kidney disease or cardiac issues. She also is available to us for the seminars in our HTU program. So we do have a nice nutritional focus as well. We really look at the whole person. You know, we try to, to deal with the spiritual side. We have hospice coming in this month to talk about managing the holiday blues. Um, we, so we try to deal with the emotional and spiritual as well as the physical and the educational component. So hmm. it's kind of a well-rounded The holiday blues. Mm -hmm. What do you do about that? Uh, we're going to find out. <laughs> That's actually tomorrow at two thirty. I would put I would put on like a dog video. That would get rid of it for me. A lot, you know, a lot of people who've lost a family member, and it's you know after last holiday season. Now it's going to be their first holiday season right, without right, that right. person. So yeah, yeah. we're just going to hospice is going to come in and give some tools for dealing with that grief and and those those blues. Hospice is such a great organization. They I, are. Hospice was part of my family's life when my father was dying, mm -hmm. and then when my mother was dying, and it was uh, I mean I don't. You guys are unbelievable how, how you do what you do. So Yeah, hospice is a really good organization. So we, we like to tap into our community resources when we can for things like that. So so those are the three things. Is it all decorated right now? We are. We are. We have two trees, a small one and a large one, and we've got a few things around the office as well. Mm -hmm. so. And would you talk about uh, walking and working out and doing some kind of exercise programs? You also pay attention to the shoes that people wear because sometimes they're wearing the wrong shoes, heels Correct. when you shouldn't be wearing them. Is she wearing their shoes? Does Shelly have the right shoes? Um, no, those actually would not be very safe. The lady, I was going to yes, say the same no. thing. I, actually, all of our instructors, you know, we do have contract oh, instructors for us. our classes, mm -hmm. and all of them are very big on wearing the proper shoes, the proper mm -hmm. attire in general. Um, so like David Barnes, who's the general manager of Zone Fitness here, he's our fitness trainer that does our core strength class called Find Your Balance. And one of the first things he does is looks at their shoes. And oh, say, really? Oh, yeah. He, and he's, he's very um, diplomatic about it, but he'll say, wrong shoes, you're going to need to wear this, you know, non-slip preferably a lace-up or Velcro uh, kind of shoe, not your sandals. We actually had people show up in flip-flops and sandals for the class before. Oh, my gosh. There's a lot of boots wow. lately, too. We've seen boots out the window here. Yeah. Well, that's because it's wintertime. But that's right. People don't generally work out in their it, boots, though. It, on the calendar, it's wintertime. But <laughs> yeah, I know. Not, not weather-wise. but <laughs> feels, feels nice. But we have that. to take it while we can here in Florida. <laughs> Technically, it's almost winter. we got to wear our boots, So how right? does somebody become uh, involved in, in the center? How do they... Get it. I mean, do they just show up? And they can. They can just show up. Look at the calendar and figure out what's going on? We prefer that for our seminars, they call our toll-free number to register for the seminar. So we have oh, okay. a head okay. count. But we do have people who walk in. And generally, we have room. Once in a while, we'll have a class that's at capacity. And we just have to ask them to wait in the lobby to make see if everybody shows up. And if we have a seat open, then we can squeeze them in. Oh, but, wow. but we do re recommend registering at the, the toll-free number, which is one 800 530-1188. 530-1188. So we prefer that. Now, for the H2U program, the membership program, that um, requires registering as a member. So they can come by our office to do that. They can, um, or go online to h2u.com, and they can do it online as well. It's very inexpensive, $20 a year membership. $20 a year? $20 a oh, year. Oh, wow. $35 for two people at the same address. Oh, my goodness. Um, so we consider that a household. I think this is a really good program. Do, do you have, like, one really popular one that one event that you know is going to fill up um, when it comes to seminars uh, the two things that really fill up a lot are the are you safe the sheriff's department um, when they oh, come really? and do that uh -huh. and also um, uh, when strive physical therapy comes they usually whatever topic they're presenting is usually of interest things like strengthening your hip and knee before surgery and after surgery so people are really oh interested gosh. in those things really? or balance screenings they might do balance screenings this year they're doing um, a series through the year so every month same day of the same I think it's the second Wednesday of every month at the same time they're doing a journey through the body so they're starting with the head in January and they'll do the neck in February etc they'll move down mm -hmm the body head to toe i wonder where we'll be in september i know i know i actually had the list not with me today so i'm not going to venture into i that. imagine december is my toes yeah. i'm just yeah. guessing yeah. 
Uh, when you talk about safety, it's not just physical safety, but it's uh, safety, you know, they might get phone calls exactly. saying, you know, we need money, uh, we'll uh, yep. fix your, oh, your roof yeah. or something, and then they, they want money right away. And Deputy Bloom addresses that. That's one of the, that's what he spends the most time on, because really, home invasion type things that happen at home, that's very rare. That the, You that's hear about true. it on the news, but it's actually very rare. Right, What's right. most common is the f- telephone scams, um, things like people coming knock on your door, your roof needs fixing, those kind of things. You so know, Robin is 50 plus. Yes, I am. I'm you, 61. You can, and you know, and 62. You can be a, actually, you don't have <laughs> to be 50 to be a member or to come to our programs. We just gear it towards 50 and older. I'm picking on Robin a little bit. I love Robin. I'm not picking on but I wanted, to, <laughs> But I wanted to tell you this. Robin got a call one time from somebody posing as the IRS. Demanding yes. money, or that she's going to be in jail like by two o'clock. <laughs> yeah, that's and I walked into it was here, and yep. I walked into the office, and I could hear her end of the conversation. I said, "It's not real. Don't even listen to it." <laughs> I said, does he have an Indian accent? Yes. Well, forget it. It's not real. <laughs> the IRS will never call you. Deputy Bloom makes that point. The IRS is never going to call you. You will get something in the mail, potentially certified. If you really are in trouble with the IRS, they're not going to call you on the phone. But they're so convincing, those it, guys. They can be. That, and P.S., know. if you have an Indian accent, I'm not, I'm not stereotyping. I'm just saying yeah. yes. that these guys typically do. Yeah. I they think they do. said that a lot of those are coming out of Malaysia, I believe. Mm-hmm. So That's a Malaysian accent. Then. Yeah, apparently. All right, so, so. I'm stereotyping the wrong group. Right. <laughs> so one of the ne- other things we're doing in January kind of to kick off the year is Amy, that dietitian Amy Freeman, she's doing a, an eight-week series on Tuesday afternoons at 4.30. She's wanting to kind of get the population that maybe is still working at least part-time but can't come to like a 10 o'clock type event so she's doing this thing called in it to win it and it's an eight week session that'll include a one mile indoor optional walking um, and then the rest of the class will focus on the nutritional some nutritional topics so each week will be a different topic so for those folks who are going to be making that new year's resolution i'm going to get those 10 pounds off or or i'm going to get more active it's a great way to kind of kick that off have an eight week group to come to and be accountable and if they like what they see and what they're hearing there then they can look into becoming a member of the program and, and you know, being a regular participant in the classes that we offer to keep that up, so. and that and that word accountability is very helpful exactly. because if you're by yourself, yeah. you feel you don't have anybody to be accountable to or to look nice for or something, and you slouch around all day just not looking good. And it's if you fine. don't have somebody, you know, if you don't have that class that you're going to every week that you're going to be expected to be continuing, mm-hmm. then you're going to you may slide back. You may do really well the first two weeks of the year, walking and doing a little better with your eating and then you might let it slide a little because you're not you're not accountable to anyone mm-hmm. whereas if you're coming to that eight week class you know when you come to week three they're going to be expecting that you've been walking you've been following the eating plan right, right. so you know it, there's there's a certain amount of that that's that's absolutely necessary if you really want to make this work when you're trying to do that the website you told us about mm-hmm. allison is um h2u.com yep letter h number two letter u.com uh, uh, and i went there it's a nice website is it this is. ocala only or is this no, a national site it's a national site okay. that's our national website so we have national benefits we have local benefits and then um in so how do you find uh, like a calendar of local um, events? Best way to do that is to call us at the senior center. Okay, okay. and um, we will can mail one out to you, or anybody can come by the center. We're there Monday to Friday, eight to five, so they can come by anytime. We always have them. Once you're a member, you get the newsletter every month. And where are you? Where, what's the physical address? We're at ninety eight fifty uh-huh. Southwest eighty fourth Court. Okay, and that is Suite five hundred. What's that near? That is literally outside the gate to on top of the world behind the Wind dixie at Friendship Center on 200. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So there's a, there's a road that goes behind the shopping center there that people don't know is there. Yeah, I used to smoke cigars back there. Did you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> long time ago. I mean, there's, there's all kind of offices. It's next door to the On Top of the World uh, Customer Service Office. Right. Before it was developed. Did you, yes. did you say Sweet 500? Sweet 500. Yeah, I did. I'm not lying to you. I would Because t- I worked at the what is now called Brookhaven, I think it's called? Brookdale. 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 Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Back when it was Park Place, I used to work there. Yep. And I would drive people to the grocery store go in the back and smoke a cigar and wait for them. Well, you know, that's where their customer service office is for Top of the World now. So oh, okay. Can't so, do that anymore? No, and we're next door to it. We're, <laughs> we're right in their same building. All right, let's take a little break, and we'll be right back. Um, Allison Metcalf is here, of course, with uh, Lauren Debick, and we're talking about the uh, the different programs at the Health to You. Is that what we call it, the Health to You? Health to You or H to You. H to You. Okay, mm-hmm. we'll be right back. If you have any questions, by the way, you're invited to call. The number here right now is 622-9622. <laughs> 
The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. On this Thursday, a nice day. With times of clouds and sun, there can be a shower near the coast. The high 70 to 75. And clear to partly cloudy Thursday night lows ranging from the mid-40s in the coolest parts of the interior to 59 along the coast. For Friday, partly sunny, there can be a shower along the coast, high 73 to 77. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Buying and selling? Then you know about OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's internet marketplace. But there's something you might not know. I'm Michael Warren, president of USA for Sale. We created Ocala for Sale in 1998 with a passion to connect buyers and sellers and to help local businesses reach shoppers online. On Ocala for Sale, you're just a click away from thousands of deals for real estate, rentals, cars, furniture, appliances, horses, pets, and more. Looking for a job? Our Help Wanted section is booming. Shopping the villages and beyond? Now you'll find great deals on Villages for Sale, as well as our new statewide classified, Florida for Sale. Log on today and post your free classified. You'll reach thousands of shoppers who check our listings every day. Are you a business looking to get a corner on the internet marketplace? USA for Sale can help you reach your target audience in Ocala, the Villages, and statewide. There's no better place to reach shoppers than right where they shop. Let us show you how. Learn more by calling 352-629-1663 or visit us online at usaforsale.com. Next Generation MD is the future of healthcare now. Listen in the first and third Thursday at 10 a.m. to learn how the future in PRP treatments are here in our area. Find out the many ways that Dr. Juan Jordan, MD, Charles Brooks, NP, and case manager Mark Shaw have brought the family medicine practice to a new level. Hear from the very people that benefit from the fine work they have done in this field. Next Generation MD, every first and third Thursday at 10 a.m. here on WOCA 96.3 FM, 1370 a.m., The Source. The entire world watched. They watched each step down the rungs of that small ladder, one after another, and waited with great anticipation for that last step. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. At that moment, humanity saw the impossible become the possible. And today, the sky is not the limit. Achievement. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. A young woman contemplating having an abortion is told by society that, whether she has her baby or not, it is her choice. The House of One in Faith in Ocala wants to give that young woman a place to live in comfort during her trying time to help her know that God's love is abundant and that He is not ashamed of her in any way. The House of One in Faith is free and confidential. For more information, call 352-687-8895. I'm going to tell you the time a different way. Are you ready for this? It's 16 days, 12 hours, 36 minutes, and 54 seconds away from 2017. There you go. So wow. backtracking, you'll figure out that it's actually 1123. <laughs> 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 uh, <In> five seconds. <laughs> uh, Alison Metcalf is in the studio. She is the guest of Lauren Debick from Ocala Health, and we're talking about the H2U Health to You uh, program. And it sounds like something you, you should hook up with. Now, so you said you don't need to be a certain age or you do need? It's geared to ages 50 and older, but you don't have to be 50 okay. and older. I'm actually a member myself and I'm just not quite 23, 50. 23, right? Yeah, I wish. Um, but uh, you don't have to be 50 to be a member or to even be just to come to the seminars. It's it's just geared towards the older population because we are out on 200. Sure, sure, so. sure. Do you go on field trips? We don't. We um, have looked into doing that a little bit. Um, do you need a driver? It's it's mainly <laughs> getting it's Isn't mainly getting the interest because our folks are active. Our folks are driving active, physically active, healthy, well people. So they go and do their own I thing. Did it. I did so. this one time. Okay, when I was at the same place I was saying about earlier, I got a, living. I mm-hmm. got a bus, okay, right. and I went back to the state. Come on, let's go to the, a concert at the college. Mm-hmm. So I loaded up the bus. Robin helped me. It was just the two of us. We brought all these people to the concert. It was like a Christmas concert, right? Yeah. Later on, I found out I didn't have a driver's license for that particular right. vehicle. You have to have a CDL. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he has a CDL, but he didn't have a CDL for... The what next it, one, whatever up. it was, yeah, yeah. Like, he had I, the regular I, one. Yeah, I could drive a up. van, but not a Greyhound. Drive the twenty-five or less, yeah. twenty-five seats or less, but not the big. Yeah, but this was like not a Greyhound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody had a TV on the seat. This is great. So, as far as field trips go, if we had the interest level, we would we would certainly offer that. 
when we, we do a survey with everybody when they become a member and usually once a year as well just an update survey with our members it's just not something they're interested in because they do it on their own so, so. do you do you make the plans based on requests mm -hmm. we do what is so is there anything coming up you can uh um, actually, yeah, Showcase? that, that uh, self-defense, basic self-defense for seniors that the Sheriff's Department's going to offer in January, that was by request. Every seminar, we have an evaluation form we ask the participants to fill out and, and to, to evaluate the speaker and the program, but also they can make suggestions, and that has come up several times. So we did that. We actually had um, some people asking for specific medical conditions and we had enough interest we were able to do that oh so, really mm -hmm. we have to get enough interest we can't offer it for this something that's such a narrow is topic there anything like, like in popular people. culture that m makes them think oh my gosh i want to learn about this has that ever happened all the time dr oz <laughs> oh i bet they yeah. watch dr oz and <laughs> their shows and they they learn about the latest thing and then they they ask ah, us yeah. about that so oh, wow. so we try to to work with that as much as we can we don't want to get caught up in things that you know, aren't proven, that aren't study backed, you know, that sort of thing. So like Amy, for example, is doing that when she's doing the in it to win it and also the healthy weight classes she's doing in January. That's all based on study based we things. Have Dr. Oz so. on like once yeah, or twice yeah. a year. We should right. tell him. I wonder if he would come down and, and do a oh, that'd be awesome. in person thing. Wouldn't that'd that be, be awesome. Cool? I'd love to have Dr. Oz out. Uh, you say that you help uh, everybody that's well and stay well. Mm -hmm. What happens if one of those people that you're helping get ill? Do you help them through the rehabilitation process we, and bring them back into the fold? Not us so much at the senior center, but we coordinate with uh, Strive Physical Therapy because mm -hmm. they're part of our group as well. So, you know, and we, we, of course, encourage them to go to our hospitals, see our practitioners. We get a lot of that because of what we do and the population we serve. We get a lot of phone calls or members coming in to our class and saying, hey, you know, I, my husband needs a gastroenterologist. I don't know who to go to. Okay, so we do a right, lot of right, that right. connecting people of kind of being their point of contact when they need a resource. We, we want to be known as kind of the resource center. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of that. And we certainly want to bring them back into the fold. So we do try to steer them towards the people that we already partner with. Anything on your wish list? Anything we can help you with? Um, wow. <laughs> well, let's see. Um, a million dollars to fund the center would be a good start. <laughs> <laughs> what would you spend it on? What would you, what um, would you do? Actually, there's a couple of things that we would like to do. I was actually talking with our boss, Brittany, this morning about this. I'd like to look at expanding into the more the east side of town. It's not as large a senior population, but those folks aren't able to really drive out 200 to okay. where our center is and they're not wanting to gotcha, right, right. so we're looking at trying to expand out towards the east side a little bit starting with the seminars that are the free seminars for the community and then maybe branching from there so we need a space um, to do that in we would need to look at the whole liability issue and work the legal aspects out depending mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. who was hosting that or where we were doing it so that's my my first wish is to do that and and we'd also like to look at expanding what we do at our center. I don't know that we have the space in the, the physical location we are now, but having kind of a, a lounge area, kind of a little cafe, coffee right, and internet right, cafe right. they can kind of hang out in when they're not in oh, a class. Oh, I'd go there. So, yeah, because we have a lot of, we have some social have activities. Ambiance music We can there. play French yeah. music. <laughs> I'd love for you guys to come do that. That'd be awesome. Come play your accordion for yeah, us. Yeah, why don't you do that? We won't charge anything. Just do yeah, like no. a French cafe. We'll be yeah, Brit in Brittany the corner. And I, Brittany music. and I have a plan to meet after the first of the year just to, on the east side of town just to kind of so kick that around Brittany a little Martha? bit. So. Is it Brittany Martha? Yeah, okay, okay. it is Brittany. She's our new oh, boss. She is oh, back nice. now. She's back. Nice. Wonderful. So we're yeah. happy to have her back, too. So, and sometimes people are well, and they go to your center and everything, but they don't drive, so they have to depend on somebody to bring them. Do right. you provide that kind of service? We are not able to provide transportation. Um, again, that's a, that's a whole different licensure you have to go through with the state to be able to do that. What we do, though, is we co partner with Marion County Senior Services. They have the transit system so uh, some of our folks do use transit oh, okay. to get there um, we do have some taxi services that work with us as well knowing that we're kind of local they they try to group it together I know I've had a couple of times the taxi drivers picked up two ladies at the same time mm -hmm. for the same oh class. I've done that so, 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 I'm so sure you have. It's a headache, like, let me tell I'm you. I'm sure you have. <laughs> so not a good idea. And we also have, what's great is our members all, especially the classes, get real close. That's why Tony told you to be careful around me. <laughs> Actually, he did, but I wasn't going to go there. Um, but we, a lot of our class members will pick up their classmates. So we do have some folks who carpool together and drive yeah. their classmates to the class. Oh, that's so, wonderful. Allison, yeah. thank you for coming in and sure. talking to us about this. For the listeners, um, the website is h 2 you.com the phone number is 1-800-530-1188 and lauren that's to register but if you want to call the center call 401-1338 oh, okay thank you okay.
And Lauren, did you have a number you wanted to give out? I can reiterate that number. It's 352-401-1338. Thank you. Thank you. Ha- uh, will we see you before the holiday? Oh, I think this is it. All right. Well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Happy Christmas to you Happy guys. Happy New Year. Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. The president-elect officially announces his choice for Secretary of the Interior, Montana Congressman Ryan Zinke. One of the things that uh, Donald Trump really likes about Zinke is his military record. He was a member of SEAL Team 6, holding the rank of commander. Fox's John Roberts. This is Mr. Trump pushes back on the notion that Russia tried to sway U.S. election results. In a tweet... Quote, if Russia or some other entity was hacking, why did the White House wait so long to act? Why did they only complain after Hillary lost? Fox's Bill Hemmer. A finding in the investigation into the Egypt air crash, which killed all 66 people on board back in May. Egyptian authorities now saying traces of explosives have been discovered on some of the victims of the flight from Paris to Cairo and that a criminal investigation will now begin. Fox News, we report, you decide. In business, risks and rewards come with every decision, like moving to the cloud with Office 365. While its benefits include anywhere access and lower costs, cyber threats and user errors can quickly wipe out data and the money you save. Barracuda Essentials for Office 365 provide an added layer of security and functionality for threat protection, email migration, data recovery, and quality of service. Move securely to Office 365. Visit barracuda.com essentials to learn more. When I listen to Audible, I'm not on mile two of my early morning run. I'm out searching for clues in the abandoned toy factory near the cemetery. As I make my way down to the basement, I can't help but feel like I'm being followed. (gasps) Did that doll just move? Who's there? (laughs) They're getting closer! I should really get a treadmill. Go to audible.com slash act now and your first download is free. Audible. Stories that surround you. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a toilet was flushing. The plumbing was out. The stockings were dirty, no water to clean. We were in a big mess with no washing machine. 